Good morning everyone! Today, I will discuss to you the benefits of animal raising. All over the world, people use animals for many reasons, such as food, milk, clothing, and labor. The purposes and methods of raising livestock are as different as the people who keep them. The most common livestock around the world are cattle, sheep, and goats. They are raised differently depending on the region of the world in which they live. Some animal producers may keep the livestock at one location during production, but others may travel with the animals. Cattle Cattle are raised in every continent except Antarctica. The biggest cattle producers are Canada, the United States, Mexico, and Argentina. In Africa and the Middle East, cattle are usually kept in smaller numbers. For example, in Afghanistan, most farmers have at least one cow to provide their families with milk. Sheep Sheep are raised worldwide, but the largest populations tend to be in Africa and the Middle East, especially in Algeria. In Algeria, 80% of livestock are sheep. Australia and New Zealand also have large sheep populations. Sheep are usually raised and sold for their meat and their warm wool. Goats Goats are raised worldwide, but are most important in Africa, the Middle East, and Asia. Because goats are more efficient at using water than cattle and can produce milk. Regions with short rainy seasons like Indonesia tend to prefer goats to cattle. People in mountainous regions such as Nepal also raise a large number of goats. Pigs Pigs are mostly raised in Europe and North America, but large populations also are raised in China, where nearly half of livestock Raised in Chinese farms are pigs. In some regions, pigs are often kept in special inter-pig farms due to the cold climates or the risk of disease. Poultry Raising poultry species like turkeys and chickens varies from country to country. Poultry in the United States are usually raised in large farms, but poultry in Africa are typically free-range and scavenged for food. Poultry species are smaller and easier to handle than many other farm animals. Because of this, raising poultry is a good source of income for women and children in many regions of the world. There are other benefits of raising animals. 1. We should raise farm animals and strive to modify the most intensive kinds of farming because farm animals reared humanely are healthier. 2. Raising animals aids in effective animal management by giving proper food, housing, and disease protection to domestic animals. 3. It employs the great number of farmers and raises their living standards as a result. 4. It crossbreeding aids in the development of high-yielding animal breeds. This boosts the production of a variety of foods like milk, eggs, and meat. And lastly, it entails the correct disposal of animal waste and supports environmental health. Animal fish raising is one of the sources of livelihood of many Filipino families today. It can be done in one's backyard or in a small lot nearby. And with knowledge, skills, and hard work, it can become one of the most profitable businesses today. Raising animals and fish give us a lot of benefits that are important in our family and community. Take a look at this diagram. These are the benefits that can be derived from animal and fish product. From the left is animal product such as hides and skin, chemical and liquid extraction, animal fat, horns and hooves, and manures. From the right is fish product. Fish byproduct as human food, fish byproduct as animal feed, industrial uses, fertilizers from seafood byproducts, and biochemical and pharmaceutical products. The middle are the benefits of both animal and fish product, such as increase of production of food, provide high quality protein, create employment, reduce importation of meat and fish, and maintain the meat production. Remember, animal and fish raising are both important to us because they give us many benefits, such as help to increase production of food, provide high-quality animal protein for human consumption, create employment, reduce the importation of fish and meat, and help bring down or maintain the price of meat products. Other animal and fish products are commonly used and consumed 
us in our house as food, medicine, and clothing. Again, this is Jeffrey Season. Thank you for watching. Bye!